Hi, this is Trevor Wilkerson talking to you from the Fret King Lounge. Today we're going to take you through the various series of Fret King guitars, give you a little bit about their history and uh, how they came to be. Probably the first one to uh, talk to you about would be the Super T, which is the uh, metallic blue guitar we have here. I've come up with a term called affordable boutique, and by that I mean no holds barred, the best of everything, but on a guitar that's affordable for everybody. So let's introduce this little sparkly blue guy down here. I think you can all see the guitar that influenced this design. But we've been able to make a few changes that I think bring this guitar into the 21st century. We haven't hurt it in any way, we haven't taken away any of its original character, but what we have done with it is we've, we've put a WTB bridge on it. And um, we also made a change to the plate, and you will notice that this has a switch which I consider to be at probably the right angle. When the guitar was originally designed, people didn't flick between sounds in an instant in the middle of a solo. Now we do. I just think it's a very, very cool workhorse guitar. Um, again, a classically inspired design, as you can no doubt see. Two humbuckers, three-way toggle. Differences from the originals or the inspiration behind it, quite a lot actually. Contour for your arm, three controls, so we put you a master volume, a master tone, and then another little device that we feature on a lot of Fret King guitars, we call Vary Coil. It's a very simple device. It just winds away one of the coils of the humbucker down to a single coil mode, but you get all the tones in between a full humbucker and a full single coil. So it's a very, very usable feature. These are actually height adjustable self-locking tuners. And we even went to the extent of dropping the high E and the B tuner actually into the headstock to create more string angle so that we got good open string ring but we didn't need a string tree. String tree on a guitar of this style, especially with a vibrato, is, is a constant source of friction which will really, really uh, give you tuning problems. 22 fret fingerboard, coming down to the pickups, uh, my design, um, Alnico 5, single, single, P90. Coming down to the bridge, one of my designs, uh, it's a VS401 and this is probably one of the most expensive vibratos you can buy anywhere. You start to add up all the sum of the parts in that guitar and they actually cost more than the actual guitar itself. So let's uh, talk you through the Esprit 3 we've got here on my left. Um, classically uh, constructed guitar, mahogany neck, one piece, mahogany three piece body, four inch centre section. 3P90s, lots of influences in that guitar from various designs from the 60s, but, uh, well, I like to call a friendly guitar. You don't quite know what it reminds you of, but you know it reminds you of something that you like. Uh, master volume, master tone, simple, five-way switch, nothing to get in the way of playing, just a pure rock and roll machine. So, uh, let's take you to what um, I have to admit is probably my favourite guitar in the range. I do like unusual shaped guitars, but again, they have to be ergonomic, they have to work. And this guitar is actually one of the most comfortable guitars you could ever strap on. Lots of features on this guitar, starting at the headstock, same tuner arrangement that we have on the Super 60 we did earlier. 22 fret, Canadian rock maple neck, Indian rose with fingerboard. The pickups are quite unusual. These are humbuckers with offset pole pieces. And again, we are actually featuring the very coil control here, whereby when you rotate this tone control down to one, it will gradually take away one of those coils in each of those pickups, giving you two really versatile guitar voicings in one guitar. As with all my vibratos, pushing arm, no threads to wobble, um, again, just the best of everything that you could get in a guitar. So let's introduce you to the Elan 50 HHP that we've got here on my right. If you want a guitar with the sounds that you expect to get out of a humbucker, you really do need set neck construction, you need to use the right materials like mahogany, you need a neck angle on it, and that's basically what that guitar is. That guitar is like your most favorite double cut guitar, but with all the tonality that you expect out of that style of pickup. One piece mahogany neck, two piece mahogany body, the PAF pickup all with the real nickel silver covers, a P90 in the middle, a master volume, a master tone, and again, the very coil which will take those two humbuckers down to single coil so you really are getting two guitars in one. Switch is where you'd expect it to be. I believe that you should be able to play a guitar in a dark room 
without actually fumbling for the switches. You should know where your volume is, you should know where your switch is, because there's lots of things to think about when you're on stage, rather than, I wonder where the designer put the volume knob. So I guess no Razor guitars would be uh, complete without some basses, and uh, we've got quite a few basses. We've got two here for you today. Nearest to me, which is the Perception 4. High access neck joint, so you can get right up to the 22nd fret. Classic P bass and a jazz bass pickup, which will give you the majority of tonalities that you could expect out of any, any bass of, of that style. So let's go back to uh, what I said was my favourite shape. I've always been a big fan of the big EBO pickup. It, it, it really is a bass sounding pickup. So I wanted to incorporate it into uh, a bass that basically gives you everything. Uh, it's got three controls on it, and they're all volumes. Uh, I kind of figure that uh, if you can't get enough bass out of that, then um, that's a big problem. Very, very playable bass. I, uh, I really would like you to check one out. Okay, so this is Trevor Wilkinson signing off. Thanks for letting me explain some of the Blue Label guitars to you. Please check them out. Remember, they are my affordable boutique guitars.